Hi, welcome back to Yoga TX. My name is Nicole. Thank you so much for joining me. Today we have a power flow with focus on strength. We will move quick and I really would like to encourage you to connect breath with movement, allowing your breath to guide you through our flow. As always, throughout our practice, feel free to adjust to your own levels. When you're ready, I would say let's flow it out together. Come to your mat and join me. Today we start in a kneeling position. Come to the center of your mat. Sit back onto your heels. Bring your hands onto your thighs, palms facing down. Drop the shoulders away from the ears. Close your eyes. Move your heart and your skull over your pelvis. Connect with your breath. With your inhale, expand the crown of your head towards the sky. And with your exhale, soften and relax the shoulders. Inhale, find length in your spine. Exhale, soften and relax the shoulders. Take a few more cycles of breath. Arriving in your body. Arriving on your mat. Check in with your body. Notice how your body feels today. Notice if you're maybe holding any tension in any areas. Just become aware of what's going on and how you feel. Take a deep inhale through the nose and a washing breath out through your mouth. Seal your lips and keep inhaling and exhaling through the nose. Gently open up your eyes. We start with shoulder circles towards the back. So just simply roll the shoulders back a few times. We change direction, roll the shoulders to the front. Release, drop the shoulders away from the ears, bring the hands together, interlace the fingers. Just draw some circles with your wrists, forwards and backwards, just warming up your wrists. Move the palms forward, extend the arms out long, press the palms forward, lengthening your arms. One more cycle of breath. With your next inhale, lift the palms up towards the sky, let your gaze follow. Press the palms towards the sky, lengthening your arms and the sides of your body. One more cycle of breath. Release your interlace and reach up with your fingertips towards the sky. Bring your right hand onto your left wrist. Take an inhale, gently pull the left arm up towards the sky. And with your exhale, bend over to the right and let your gaze come up towards the sky underneath your left arm. Lengthening the left side of your body, even more. Inhale, come back to center, let's switch sides. Bring your left hand onto your right wrist. With your inhale, pull the right arm up towards the sky. And with your exhale, bend over to the left. Move the gaze up towards the sky, looking up underneath your right arm. Last cycle of breath. Inhale, come back to center, expand fingertips towards the sky. Exhale, release the hands down and come to tabletop position. Come to your all fours. 
Spread your fingers wide like a starfish and press your hands into the floor. Keep your hands underneath your shoulders. Your knees are hip width apart and your hips are stacked on top of your knees. We start with cats and cows. With your inhale, drop the belly, open up the chest, lift up your gaze. With your exhale, tuck the tailbone round through the spine, chin to chest, two more rounds. Inhale, drop the belly, open up the chest, lift up your gaze. With your exhale, tuck the tailbone round through the spine, chin to chest. Inhale, look up. Exhale, round. Release, come to neutral tabletop position. Open up your knees, bring your big toes together, sit back onto your heels and lower the torso down towards the floor in between the knees. Your arms are reaching forward. Keep your hands in alignment with your shoulders. If you can, try to connect the forehead to the floor. Wide like a child's pose. With your inhale, breathe into the back of your body. And with your exhale, release the torso closer to the floor. Feel free to bring some movement into your hips by moving your hips right to left or remain still. Two more cycles of breath. With each exhale, try and find a little bit more depth, releasing your torso closer towards the floor. Press the palms, your hands into the floor. Lift up with the torso, bring your hands closer towards your torso, claw your paws, tuck the toes, push through the hands, lengthen the legs and move the hips up into downward facing dog. Pedal it out with your feet, give it a few steps, walk out your dog. Feel free to bring some movement into your hips if this feels good to you. Find stillness in your down dog. Gently bend the knees, tailbone points up towards the sky. Push through the hands, feel that lengthening in your spine. With each exhale, releasing the heels and the sternum closer towards the floor. With your next inhale, Move your shoulders over your wrist, come into high plank pose. Tuck the tailbone, draw the lower belly towards the spine. With your exhale, bend into the knees, move the hips back to your heels, push through the hands. Inhale, move the shoulders forward over your wrists. Exhale, bend into the knees, move the hips back, be strong in your arms. One more time, inhale, move the shoulders forward over your wrists. Keep your gaze in between your hands. This time, push the floor away with your hands, move these hips up and release into downward facing dog. Gently bend the knees, tailbone points up towards the sky. Push through the hands, make sure you don't have any weight on your wrists. With your next inhale, rise up onto the tiptoes. With your exhale, bend into the knees, gaze forward. Start walking to the top of the mat. Come to a standing forward fold. Keep bending into your knees. Bend into your left knee, plant the left hand onto the floor. Inhale, sweep the right arm up towards the sky. Twist from the belly button upwards. Keep your arms in one line. One more cycle of breath. With your next exhale, release the right hand down, lengthen your left leg, bend into the right knee. Inhale, sweep the left arm up towards the sky. Two cycles of breath.
With your next exhale, release the left hand down to the floor, standing forward fold. Bend into the knees, rise up into a standing position, sweep the arms up over your head, and with your exhale, release into standing forward fold. Inhale, rise, and exhale, fold. One more time, inhale, rise, arms over your head, exhale, fold. Stay here for two cycles of breath. With your next inhale, bring the hands towards your shins, halfway lift, exhale, forward, fold. Plant your hands, step both feet back, come into high plank pose. Tack the tailbone, draw the lower belly towards the spine. Keep your gaze in between your hands. Take one more inhale. With your exhale, take it down, Chaturanga. Untuck the toes. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, push the floor away with your hands. Move these hips up. Release into downward facing dog. With your next inhale, lift up your right leg. Three-legged dog. Keep your hips squared. Keep your shoulders squared. With your next exhale, bring your right knee into your chest. Push the floor away with your hands. Inhale, extend the right leg out long. Three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to chest. Inhale one more time. Three-legged dog, extend the right leg out long. With your next exhale, bring your right knee back into your chest and hold. Push the floor away with your hands. Pull that right knee into your chest. Feel the activation in your core. Try and step your right foot in between your hands as quietly as you can. Press your feet into the floor. When you're ready, root to rise. Sweep the arms up over your head. Come into high crescent lunge. Press your feet into the floor, squeeze the thighs towards the midline, find length through the sides of your body, open up your chest. Take one more inhale. With your exhale, bring the hands together and down to your heart. Take one more inhale in center. With your exhale, twist over to the right and lower the outside, lower the left elbow down to the outside of your right knee. Come into a twisted high crescent lunge. Press the left heel towards the back of the mat. Activate the back of your left thigh, which allows you to tilt forward a little bit more with the torso. Your gaze is either down towards your left foot, or if you can, you can move the gaze up towards the sky. Reach forward to the top of the mat, through the crown of your head. Two more cycles of breath. Press your feet into the floor. Press your palms together. Feel the energy between your palms. Feel the strength. Last cycle of breath. With your inhale, come back to center. Extend the arms out long over your head. Open up your chest. With your exhale, release the hands down, frame your right foot. Step the right leg back, come into high plank pose. Give me two chaturanga push-ups. One and two. Third time, take it down all the way, chaturanga to the floor. Inhale, upward facing dog. Drop the shoulders away from the ears and push the floor away. Move the hips up. And back into downward facing dog, releasing the heels and the sternum towards the mat. With your next inhale, lift the left leg up, three-legged dog. Keep your hips squared, keep the shoulders squared. With your exhale, bring the left knee into the chest. Inhale, extend the left leg out long, three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to chest. One more time. Inhale, three-legged dog. With your next exhale, left knee into your chest. Push the floor away with your hands. Try and step your left foot in between your hands as quiet as possible. 
press the feet into the floor. When you're ready, root to rise, sweep the arms up over your head, high crescent lunge on your left. Find length through the sides of your body and really squeeze the thighs towards the midline. Press the feet into the floor. Take one more inhale, open up your chest. With your exhale, bring the hands together down to your heart. Take one more inhale in center. With your exhale, twist over to the left. Lower the right elbow down to the outside of your left knee. Press the right heel towards the back of the mat. Activate the back of your right thigh. Your gaze either down to your left foot, or if you can, you can move the gaze up towards the sky. I'm going to keep my gaze down today. See how you feel. Sometimes the poses vary from day to day, actually most of the time. Press your feet into the floor. Last cycle of breath. With your next inhale, Come back to center, extend the arms out long, open up your chest, exhale, release the hands down from your left foot, step your left leg back into high plank pose, you all know what's coming, two chaturanga push-ups, one and two, third time, take it down all the way to the floor, inhale, upward facing dog, and with your exhale, push the floor away with your hands. Move these hips up. Release into downward facing dog. Two cycles of breath in downward facing dog. Push through the hands. Feel that nice lengthening in your spine. Gently bend the knees, tailbone points up towards the sky. With your next inhale, rise up onto the tiptoes. Bend into the knees, gaze forward. Start walking to the top of the mat. Standing forward fold. Keep your, your feet hip width apart. Feel free to have a gentle bend in your knees. Releasing the whole upper body towards the floor. One more cycle of breath. With your next inhale, bend into the knees. Press the feet into the floor and sweep the arms up over your head. Come into chair pose. Hack the outer shins towards each other. Sink low with your hips into your chair. Draw the lower belly towards the spine. Elevate your chest. Keep your gaze in between your hands. One more cycle of breath. With your next e exhale, bring the hands together down to your heart. With your next inhale, rise up onto your tiptoes. And with your exhale, slowly lower down, hips to heels. Take your time. Nice and slow. Here we go. Nice work. Bring the hands down. Sit back onto your mat and extend your legs out long in front of you. Point your toes. Bring your hands underneath your shoulders. With your next inhale, push the floor away with your hands. Lift up your hips and press your feet into the floor. Reverse plank pose. Be strong in your arms. Push the floor away with your hands. Lift these hips up towards the sky. Press the feet, your big toes, into the floor. One more cycle of breath. With your next exhale, slowly lower the hips down to the floor. Flex your feet. Inhale, sweep the arms up over your head. And with your exhale, come into a seated forward fold. Feel free to bend your knees. Try your best to hinge from the hips. And take your time. Be patient with yourself in your seated forward fold. Feel free to close your eyes. Imagine a wave movement. With your inhale, find length in your spine. With your exhale, release the torso closer to your legs. Bring awareness to your posture. And really notice the progress 
that you're making with each exhale. You are actually coming a little bit closer to your legs. Two more cycles of breath. With your next inhale, rise up, waist the torso, bend into your knees, keep your feet flexed, bring the right hand behind your back, left hand to the outside of your right foot. Here we go. With your inhale, extend the right leg out long, and with your exhale, gaze over your right shoulder. If you feel stable, and if you want to fly. Lift up your right arm, extend it out long. Your gaze is still over your right shoulder, back to your right hand. Twist from the belly button upwards. With your inhale, extend the crown of your head towards the sky, open up your chest. Exhale, twist. Last cycle of breath. With your exhale, bend into your right knee, lower the right heel down to the floor, switch sides, left hand behind your back. Oh my God, I'm missing the words today. Right hand comes to the outside of your left foot. With your inhale, extend the left leg out long and with your exhale, gaze over your left shoulder. Again, if you wanna fly, lift up your left arm. Gaze back to your left hand. Inhale, find length in your spine. Open up your chest. And with your exhale, find your twist and fly. Last cycle of breath. Exhale, release the left foot down to the floor. Bring both of your hands onto your knees. Take an inhale, find length in your spine, open up your chest. And with your exhale, slowly lower the upper body down to the floor, each vertebra at a time. Feel free to scoop back a little bit if you have to, using the whole length of your mat. Come into Shavasana, extend your legs out long. Keep your feet wider than hip width apart and allow your feet to gently drop down to either side. Bring your arms either side of your body with the palms facing towards the sky. Bring your head in alignment with your spine. Close your eyes and connect with your breath. With each exhale, release and let go of any tension you might still be holding in your body. Relax your face muscles and unclench your jaw. Relax your shoulders and allow them to melt into the floor. Feel your arms heavy either side of your body. Move that relaxation further down into your legs, your calves, your feet, and your toes. Focus on the motion of your inhales and exhales and how they are traveling in and out of your body. Connecting with that flow inside of you, that stillness and peace.
Slowly come back to your body. Wiggle your toes, wiggle your fingers. Maybe do some circles with the ankles, the wrists. If you feel like a morning stretch, extend the arms out long over your head. Give it a nice little stretch. Bend into the knees and connect the soles of your feet back to the floor. Roll over to either the right or the left side. Come to fetal position. Take your time here. When you're ready, slowly make your way up to an easy cross leg position. Keep your eyes closed and your gaze slow. Bring your hands onto the knees, palms facing down. With your heart and your skull over your pelvis. Connect with your breath. Just check in with your body, notice how your body feels. Notice how different your body feels after your practice. Bring your hands together in front of the heart into the Anjali Mudra. Express gratitude towards yourself for taking the time out of your day for your practice, for showing up for yourself. Drop your chin down to your chest, bow to your heart and your practice. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me for our power flow. As always, lots of love from Scotland, from me to you. Have a wonderful day, enjoy the rest of the week and hopefully I will see you next week Wednesday. Take care, bye bye.